Here's the pitch. Swing and a line drive, base hit center field. Belt's going to score, and this game is over. Tomlinson does it again. I'm Ariel Lagami with the MLB.com Fast Cast. Recently acquired Marlon Byrd stroked the third inning grand slam off Cardinals ace Michael Waka, but it took a ninth inning bases loaded single from rookie Kelby Tomlinson to give San Francisco a 5-4 walk-off win. Clayton Kershaw tied a season high with 14 strikeouts, winning for the 11th time this season as the NL West leading Dodgers beat the Cubs 4-1. Before the game, the Dodgers placed outfielder Yasiel Puig on the 15-day DL with a strained right hamstring. But Dodger fans received better news in the second inning when 87-year-old Vince Scully announced that he plans to return for his 67th season in the Dodgers broadcast booth. Brian McCann celebrated his return to Atlanta with a three-run shot and the Yankees rolled to a 15-4 victory over the Braves. Yankee shortstop D.D. Gregorius hit a three-run homer of his own and collected a career-high six RBI. Hendries Morales hit a two-run tater off the catwalk in center field at the Trop, and that proved to be the difference as the Royals took down the Rays 3-2. Edinson Volquez improved to 12-7 after holding Tampa Bay to one earned run over six and two-thirds. After Troy Tulowitzki's solo shot broke a one-all tie, MVP hopeful Josh Donaldson hit his 35th home run, a projected 454 feet, helping the Blue Jays take down the Tigers 5-3. Josh Harrison's pinch hit go-ahead RBI single in the eighth inning heed the Pirates' 5-3 victory over the Rockies. The National League wildcard leading Pirates have won nine of their last 11 games. Red Sox backstop Blake Swihart's go-ahead inside the park homer off Carlos Torres in the 10th inning helped the Red Sox cool off the red-hot Mets with a 6-4 extra inning win. David Ortiz exited the game with heel tightness, but not before launching his 27th homer of the season and 493rd of his career. Home runs by Shinsu Chu and Chris Jimenez helped Texas top Baltimore 4-1 in Arlington as Ranger starter Cole Hamels held the O's to just two hits over eight frames. With the homer, Chu has now reached base in 32 straight starts since the All-Star break. The Indians rallied in the seventh with run scoring hits by Abraham Almonte, Jason Kipnis, and Carlos Santana to beat the Angels 3-1. Trevor Bauer won his 10th game of the season, surrendering just one run in eight strong innings. Kyle Gibson notched his first win since July 12th, pitching the Twins to a 3-0 victory over the Astros. It was the Twins' seventh win in their last eight games, keeping them within a half game of the Rangers for the second AL wildcard spot. Taiwan Walker held the White Sox scoreless over six and a third innings before exiting with a cramp in his right hip flexor, and Seattle's bullpen did the rest as the M secured the 2-0 victory. Before the game, Mariners GM Jack Zarensic was relieved of his duties, and assistant general manager Jeff Kingston was appointed to take the reins for the remainder of the season. The Marlins scored four runs in the first four innings off Max Scherzer on their way to a 4-3 win over the Nationals. Rookie starter Adam Conley would get the win after limiting Washington to three runs over five-plus innings. Domingo Santana homered in his Miller Park debut, and Taylor Youngman delivered six scoreless frames in the Brewers' 5-0 win over the Reds. Philly starter Aaron Nola helped his team snap a four-game skid. The rookie right-hander allowed two hits and one run over seven frames in a 7-1 victory over the Padres. The 2014 first-round pick improved to 5-1 and one in his first eight big league starts. Paul Goldschmidt's mammoth two-run homer in the seventh proved to be the difference as the Diamondbacks came from behind to beat the A's 6-4. For more on these stories, stay locked to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.